What's up guys, it's Max and Ben of Z3 Outdoors, and um, taking this video to just review what we did this past year fishing and um, all of our other outdoor activities. We're going to go over what baits were successful this year for bass. We'll start out with, um, in our first video posted, with um, Sankos and other types of uh, soft plastics. Our best bait in the summer right now is this green with uh, like red flake. Sanko, and um, a big bite bait, doesn't have a color marked, but it's almost like a watermelon with red. Okay. So for our second bait, we used uh, two different colors of Habit Craws, uh, one's like a real bright green, and the other one's a darker green with green flakes. Uh, we used, we Texas rigged them with a three or four out hook. Yeah, just a tungsten. Mm-hmm. Um, we also use these raised tail frogs, and um, Ben and I both like hollow body frogs, but we want to try soft plastics. And they work a lot when you have algae cover, but um, you can use them on a weighted swim bait hook, or you can even punch with them, because, I mean, they have a lot of motion with their... So those are basically all our summer baits we used. Um, we used small crankbait, depending on where we were, but those were successful baits for us by far. Senkos, almost always wacky rig, weedless, weightless, that's just what we did. We did a lot of fishing this fall, early winter. Um, in fact, we're going to show you a couple clips of um, some nice bass we caught in early December. It was still about 50 degrees out, water temperature was cold, but I mean, they were still biting uh, anything that resembled a shad or any type, any swimming baits. But in the fall, this was by far the most successful bait we used. Um, it's a Strike King um, spinner bait, it's just a chartreuse in red with a red hook, and it's supposed to be a bleeding shad. It looks like it has a bleeding tail. And um, we usually used a little fluke like this to trail it, just because that bigger profile in the fall really worked for some reason. And that's what we were most successful with. Um, here's a couple of fish we caught on those. Forgot to start the camera, here we go. Another one on the spinner bait. Next uh, late fall uh, bait we used is the uh, Zoom Albino Flukes. Um, they worked really well on weighted swim bait, swim bait hooks. Uh, closer to nighttime. Uh, right as it was getting dark, that's yeah. where they were busting on shad and other bait fish. So but it's usually when we threw it, and it usually worked really well. Yeah, great, great bait though. Another bait that was pretty successful in the fall for us was, um, again, big bite baits. We love these things. They're cheap and they. They uh, get the job done and more. So, um, was a Sanko. Again, in the fall, you want something that resembles a bait fish, something brighter in color usually. So, um, we use these green and white. Um, it's a normal size. Five inch stick bait is what they call it. But um, it works real well. Um, tossing a weightless, wacky rigged on um, like a little, like an octopus hook. And um, it worked again at the same time as we threw the. Um, flukes, uh, real close to dark, right when the fish were looking for shad and other bait fish, just get it in, twitch it a couple times on the bottom, and got a lot of bites with it, even Ben lost a couple on it. Ben's got one, recommend me, Clay, grab that fish for him. He spit it right at the bank. Clay busted a big one on the Senko. Yeah, we really, um, we use a lot of Senkos. That's kind of our favorite, uh, our go-to. Mm -hmm. We uh, also use the Yum Junebug. Uh, I think they're, uh, they're five inch too. Uh, they're, these are very good for um, midday because they're like, they're darker and they have the blue, uh, blue flakes to them. Uh, we caught a lot of fish on these. While Ben's going to get, um, another bait that we used, I want to give a little shout out to, um, Otter Tails.
Captain Bruce was um, more than friendly with these. He sent us all sorts of um, trailers. Uh, a lot of people use them in salt water, but these short tail grub style trailers in just about every color you can imagine. Um, they work so well on trailing jigs and um, swim baits and anything like that, spinner baits. Um, they're just little curl tail like this. And um, the way they're made is it's a soft plastic poured over like a, an extremely small hold mesh netting. And they're just super strong. Like, they have a good smell to them. They um, stay on the hook real well. I mean, like, he has a video of them holding up by two 20-pound weights. Just um, if you're a saltwater fisherman, especially for cobia and other types of um, striper, that's a go-to. Big shout out to otter, otter tails. This year we got after um, some smallmouth in the Yakagani down in Collinsville area, Pennsylvania. And um, we used a lot of crankbaits. We tried some live um, shiners and other minnows, and it worked well. Put them on a bobber and just let them float down. But um, the main two colors that worked really well were both actually kind of a perch style. And they're just shallow running crankbaits. They run about two to three feet, two to four feet, mm -hmm. uh, both were Pala brand, and um, we were so successful on the smallmouth bees. That perch color, I don't know what it is, but they, they have now. It's uh, January 2nd, and um, it's like 60 or 70 degrees outside, and we're about 30 minutes out from Pittsburgh. It doesn't really happen much. We should be ice fishing right now, so we got a little weight, but hopefully everybody's being real safe ice fishing. Um, we also got um, a nice chance to do a little bit of surf fishing in um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and um, that went pretty well. Uh, we got out early, got to wade out, it was real shallow. We, yeah, we got a good opportunity to go out to Myrtle Beach and do a little bit of surf fishing. We um, actually netted a couple of little bait fish and um, used them. We got in the water, luckily it was warm that morning, um, but we were able to walk out probably 100 yards. Mm -hmm. and, um, sandbars. Yeah, it was just all sandbars. Ben caught a nice one. Um, that was it. We didn't have a real successful day, uh, but it was a nice morning to be out there. Water was warm. We were able to wade out. It's pretty nice. Um, um, we also got to snorkel in Aruba this year, so um, we got to see some we to see some pretty cool fish this year. Snorkeling in Aruba was crazy. I mean, the water was super clear. We were actually in a big natural pool. And um, you can see, like, the water kind of pouring over everybody sitting. And um, here is a little bit of a, um, a shallower little inlet. And uh, it was actually at Baby Beach in Aruba. And, man, the color of the fish and the amount of fish that were in there was crazy. It was just amazing. Thousands of fish. Not sure what this fish was right here, but it was um, actually kind of rainbow when the sun would hit it. So, for Christmas, I actually got um, two nice new poles: uh, the Shimano uh, Sedona spinning. It's a seven-one, medium heavy. It's uh, good for shaky heads, drop shotting. So, I also got a new baitcaster. It's um, the Lose Carbon uh, Blue Speed Stick. It's um, it's a six-ten. I'm pretty sure. Medium heavy. Super light though. Um, for the weight. Uh, it's real nice. It's a real good pull. It's hopefully going to do well casting some lighter stuff. We also want to um, thank Gavin Zimmerman for the good music uh, that you'll be hearing in most of our videos. So thanks to Gavin. Just make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Um, comment. Tell us where you're from. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.
just on this. <laughs> we put that in the video. Oh, uh, we really like giant lizards. We actually wacky rig them on a treble hook and um, <laughs> use it like a bobber, usually so. Yes. To go on to use. <laughs>